in the name of God, the most gracious, the merciful, is one of the many problems that occur in our livestock farms. Pustulous abscesses that are on the body of animals for any reason or caused by contaminated injections or from now traumas. Traumas to Dharm's body. Now germs come in creating festering abscesses if you observe them closely. Here's a big pus that we saw two weeks ago. Considering the abscess wasn't ripe and not soft, you see, we'll do it when we're taller. It's perfectly soft, but if the abscess is hard and rocky, don't open this at all. Try to get the abscess completely and be ready to shave to make sure if it's a pus abscess or a hematoma, we need a needle. You see, this is totally messy with empty serum. Festus gets discharged with serum, so this isn't a hematoma, and the blood is the thing. It's not an abscess. We can wash the water completely inside of it. Use salt with betadine, but in a small amount completely inside the abscess. Wash it, and then you won't need any antibiotics. You know, these abscesses have a wall around them that prevents the antibiotics from penetrating. The antibiotics can't get through by general intravenous or intramuscular injection. So there's no need to inject any antibiotics. The best thing to do is act like a nurse and thoroughly wash it every day. When we open this abscess, it usually has a very positive outcome and heals quickly. Never stitch this incision you made with a 20 gauge needle. The wound needs to remain open and needs to be thoroughly washed with a saline solution, diluted betadine or even tap water. You'll see the abscess is completely drained. But aftercare nursing is extremely important for a few days. If you wash it properly, you'll see it completely change and soften. If we used actual or black ointment, or as they say, burnt oil, this palette wouldn't soften and the drainage wouldn't be complete. To stop the bleeding, we can press on the edge of the wound for a few minutes. The bleeding will stop more easily.